If you're looking for a reason to quit vaping, quit smoking weed, or quit using other drugs, today's video is going to help you out. If you're new to the channel, my name's Dr. Frank. I'm the founder of Addiction Mindset Recovery Coaching Programs, which are dedicated to helping people quit nicotine, THC, energy drinks, and adult media content. To learn more about our free and paid programs, be sure to check out the link in my profile, the pinned comment, or the video description. If you're looking for a reason to quit vaping or quit smoking weed, what if the only reason is to prove to yourself that you can? And before you bail on the video, just hear me out for a few minutes. I feel this is one of the biggest benefits that people can receive from quitting any substance that they've become addicted to. If you're stuck in the cycle of nicotine addiction or THC addiction or pill addiction or alcohol addiction or whatever it is, you probably feel like quitting is impossible, especially when it comes to nicotine products, right? Like I remember many, many times vaping, chewing tobacco, using nicotine salt pouches and saying it is impossible to quit. I am never going to be capable of quitting. And what if the only motivation was to prove to yourself that you are in fact capable of doing something that you did not think you were once doing? I often talk on my channel about one of the worst side effects of addiction, particularly nicotine addiction, being the subconscious rot that it creates in a person's brain. We wind up quitting, relapsing, quitting, relapsing, quitting, going back to it. And we start to develop the mentality of I can't, I'm not capable of, I'm not going to see this through. Instant gratification, instant gratification. And this is a very, very poor mentality to develop especially on a subconscious level that we're not really aware of because I know for myself and many other people that I've spoke to, whether it's been in our group coaching programs or one-on-one -on -one coaching programs, this subconscious rot, this subconscious mentality starts to spill over into other areas of a person's life. And I think on a larger scale, we start to become content with the idea that we can't, that we are incapable of. What if you are the only person standing in your way of being able to say, I can, I am capable of? What if the conversation going on in your head is the only barrier, the only challenge that you're facing to quitting vaping, quitting smoking weed, quitting drugs? What if this simple shift in mindset from telling yourself, you, telling you, that you can't, you're not capable of, to telling yourself, I can do this, I am going to see this through, hell or high water, I have something to prove to myself. Because I believe by taking that step, I believe by seeing that through, I believe by exercising that discipline, you have the ability to dramatically change your business career, your financial situation, your relationships, your physical health. Because now you might look at the gym, something you once said, I can't, I can't work out today, I'm not capable of. And boom, you have the I can mentality. I can't, I don't deserve this good relationship. I can't land that girl. I can't land that guy. Boom, I can land that. I am capable of. What if just by shifting this one perspective when it comes to addiction, it creates a shift of I can in multiple areas of your life. And what if that has a ripple effect on your life? I can tell you firsthand for me, this was the case. I would not be sitting here in front of you on TikTok or YouTube or Instagram, wherever you're watching this on our platforms that are now over 500,000 subscribers strong, 500,000 community members strong. If I didn't have that shift in mindset from I can't to I can. The last part to this is what if the thing you need to do is choose to take on a new challenge. And what if quitting is that challenge? 
I think that choosing to take on a challenge in life, whether that's going to school and getting a challenging degree, pursuing a relationship that that you think is going to be helpful, but it might be a little challenging to get there, whether it's a business challenge, right? Whether it's a physical fitness challenge in the gym or a marathon or whatever it is, choosing to take on a challenge choosing to prove yourself in something, choosing to have to suffer a little bit in something can be extremely powerful. And I believe firmly this is one of the most powerful aspects to quitting an addiction. You are choosing to place yourself in a challenging situation, quitting, sobriety, and recovery. And you are choosing to prove to yourself that you can quit that you are capable of quitting, that you are capable of seeing this thing through, that you are capable of a better life. I think that is extremely rewarding as compared to being forced into a challenging situation. Someone's smoking cigarettes, they get lung cancer. Someone's vaping, their lung collapses. Now they're forced, they're scared, and they're backed into a challenging corner of quitting as compared to the moment that you have right now, which is the choice, the decision, to say, I can, I am capable of, and I am done with this addiction once and for all. If you need more support, be sure to check out the the link in my profile, the pinned comment, or the video description. We are launching the Living Weed Free in 2023 Addiction Mindset Challenge. If you're watching this before November 22nd, we have a free live Zoom call Q&A coming up. You can register for that with the link in my profile or the pinned comment. Or if you check out the Living Weed Free in 2023 program, you can sign up today and you get immediate access to our addiction mindset recovery coaching accountability community and other things. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next video or in the pinned comment or the profile. Bye now.